Hey guys, what's going on? Flame Hunter 101 here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some Mii Fighters of characters from the anime and manga, The Seven Deadly Sins. So first, we're going to start off with the captain of The Seven Deadly Sins, Meliodas. So of course, we're going to go with male. And his face shape, I think we can keep the same because it looks pretty good. Now for his hairstyle, so he has some pretty... He has sort of long hair, but it's like also long messy. So I was thinking this one at first, but then I went down and, nope, not that one. I saw this one and I thought it was longer, and I think this one looks better than the other one because of the length on it. So we're going to go over to color, and we're going to have to go for this, not that one, this one. Because it's sort of like a yellow blonde, and he doesn't just have straight up blonde like that. He has the sort of bright yellow blonde. So now for his eyebrows, he has pretty thin eyebrows. And of course, we're going to have to go with the same yellow color. But I don't really like the position, so we're going to go like that. And then, yep. Now, for his eyes, he has sort of like round eyes. Sort of like this. Except here, they're way too close together. So we're going to spread them apart. Nope, like that. And then he has green eyes. So we're just going to go with this green. Now, he always has a big grin on his face. So I was going to do this one or this one. But they just look kind of strange. So I thought this one. So you can either this one or this one. But I think that this grin over here works better for Meliodas. So now no facial hair, no mole. His nose, we can just keep the same. Now no facial hair. Now for his body, of course he's pretty, pretty short. I'd probably give it like that. And now he's not too fat. Maybe like that. And right in the middle, sort of. Now he's going to have, I guess we can go with a white for his shirt. Now name Meliodas. Meliodas. So Meliodas. So now let's head on to our next character. So for our next character, we're going to be making the Fox Sin of Greed Bond. So we're going to start off with a male, of course. And now for his face shape, his face shape can basically stay the same because his face shape is pretty good. And now for his hairstyle. So he does have pretty, he has spiky hair, definitely. But oh, he has spiky hair, but none of these really work. Like, maybe this one? Or this one? Definitely not this one. Not that one. Definitely not that. Not that. Not that. So none of these really work because he does have short, spiky hair. But I think it would be either this or this. I think I'm going to go with... Oh, it's... This is hard, but... I think I'll go with this one because it is more of like a... It sort of spiked backwards, not really spiked forwards, so I think we'll go with this one. And now he has like a grayish, bluish hair. Ugh, I don't know if they're going to be a good color. Maybe this one. Uh, not that, not that, not that. Because none of the grays work, because they're like too gray. This one's definitely like a bluish, grayish. I think we'll go with this one. Yeah, I think this one works. Okay. So now let's go back here. Now to his eyebrows. So his eyebrows are just thin, but the same color. So I'm going to go like that, and then we'll go like that. That works for him, I think. And now we're going to go back for the same blue-gray color right there. And now for his eyes. So his eyes are pretty skinny. Not that one, because that looks like he's squinting. So probably this one, except we make it skinnier like that. And then can I rotate? Would rotate? No, rotating looks too weird. So we'll go with this. And now his eye color is red. I don't know if I should go with bright red or dark red. I think dark red works better for him. Now his nose can stay the same enough for his mouth. He usually has a pretty toothy grin, but I'll give him, I'll just give him this one, because I think it looks better. 
So now no facial hair, no mole. And then his body, he's he's a pretty tall guy. So we'll go like that. Okay, now favorite color, red, of course. And now for his name, we're gonna give him Bon. So yeah, there we go. There is the Fox Sin of Greed Bon. So now on to our next character. So for our next character, we're gonna go with hmm, let's go with Diane for now. Diane. However you're supposed to pronounce it. So we're gonna go with female, of course. So now the for the face shape, we can we can keep the face shape the same. And now for a hairstyle, I really hope there are pigtail ones. I think there are. There should be. Yeah, so we got either this. I think it would be this one for her. Yeah, this one. Not that. Yeah, so this can be Day Deanne's hair. Now, she already has brown hair, so we'll just keep the brown hair there. So now for her eyebrows. She just has some pretty thin brown eyebrows, except they're not going to look like that. Yeah, that works. So now for her eyes, she has pretty... I don't really know what shape you would call them, but she's sort of roundish. I don't think it would be really like Meliodas's eyes. Mm -hmm. But not that. Not this, maybe? No, not this one. If we rotate... Oh god. No, definitely not that. Um hmm, her eyes are pretty difficult. Does this work? I think this one actually kinda works. Yeah, I think this works. Yeah, like that. And then she has purple eyes. I think this purple works. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so now nose can stay the same. Now for her mouth, we'll just give her a smile like that. So no facial hair, no mole. Now for her body, we should make her as tall as possible because, of course, she is a giant. So there we go. And now for her favorite color, orange, because she's always wearing orange. So now for the name, we're going to do Deanne. So there we go. So there is Diane. And now, on to the next character. So for our next character, we're going to go with King. Or as his fairy name is, Harlequin. So we're going to go start from scratch. And then we're going to go male. Of course, so here we go. So his face shape, we can keep basically the same. And then for his hairstyle. So his hairstyle is short. It's kind of like this. Maybe if we... No, not like that. It's none of these, really. Maybe this one... This one, I think this one might work. I think I might go with this one. So all the other ones are either too long or too short. So I think this one works. So his hair color is like a light brownish. I think it'll be this color. It's not that. That one looks too orange. Or maybe, yeah, let's go with this color. This one works. So now for the eyebrows. So his eyebrows are basically just the same thin one as all the other ones except so we'll rotate it like that and then we will give him the right color so now for his eyes so his eyes are sort of thin sort of squinting a little bit not really squinting but I think if we take this and we rotate it like that and we move it up I think this works for King's eyes so now his eyes are like light brown sort of like his hair color I think this one looks works for his eye color. 
So nose can stay the same. Now for his mouth, I don't know if I should give him a frowning or just... I think I'll just give him the straight blank expression, sort of. So no facial hair, no mole. Now for his body, he is short, as we know. But probably same height as Meliodas, around there. So we'll just keep him like that. So now for his favorite color is going to be light blue. Now for his name, we'll give him King. There we go. And done. So now let's head on to the next character. For our next character, we're going to go for Merlin. So we're going to go start from scratch. And then female. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make Merlin. So face shape can stay the same, but for her hairstyle, hmm, for his hairstyle, it's, it's kind of, well, it wouldn't be really be wavy, but it's not that long. Yes, yeah, so it's not too long, but sort of like this one. For I think this one works pretty well. We'll see some other ones, but I think this one will probably be the one I end up going with for her. Some of the other ones really work well. It's not that. Do have this one? This one seems too long. The other ones, no. See, I think we'll go with this one right here. And then she has black hair, of course. So now on to her eyebrows, which are going to be the same thin eyebrows, except... We'll rotate it like that and then make it black. So now for her eyes, her eyes are pretty skinny, sort of like bonds. So we'll go like this and we'll shrink it, but not too much. So it's like that. And then her eye color is sort of orange. Not like that, but it's more orange. But not that orange. Sort of like this, but it's sort of more yellow golden. I think this one works. So now for her nose can stay the same. So now for her mouth, we're going to want to actually give her one that has lipstick. Probably go with this one. So none of the other ones work. No, all the other ones look weird. So now positions stay the same. So what? It's sort of like a pink. Like a hot pink, sort of. Like this, maybe. I think this, does this one work? Yeah, I think this one works. So now, um, no mole. And then, for her height, she's sort of tall. We'll just go like that. And then, she's pretty skinny. So now for her favorite color, we'll go with purple. Now, name Merlin. So there we go, there is Merlin. So now let's head on to our next character. So for our next character, we're gonna go with Gother. So Gother is a male, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. And then for the face, we'll just keep the same. So now for his hairstyle, it's pretty long. Because it's a long pink color, but not too long. So let's see here. This? No, not really this. This one? No. This one's way too long. Hmm. This one? No. I don't think any of these really work. None of the hairstyles really work. Not that one. I think we're gonna have to go with this one. This is the closest one I can find. So now for the color, it's gonna be pink. 
So, yeah, probably, probably this pink. So none of the other pinks really work well at all. So, yeah. It's not really the right color, though. Not that, not that. Yeah, they don't have the right color. But I think this is the closest one. So we're gonna go with um so we're gonna go with this hair right here. And now on to his eyebrows. So for his eyebrows, I think we're just gonna go with the same thin ones I'm going with for with everybody else. So we're just going to go here. And then I'll do the same thing where I just rotate it like that. And then we need to have the same color pink. Even though the pink is not really accurate too much. But whatever. So now we go on to his eyes. So his eyes seem a little difficult. Maybe. Does this work? No, not really. Not those. If we take this and we rotate it, oh, that doesn't really work either. I think this will work for Gother. And now for his eyes, he has like orange eyes. Sort of like this. Or no, it's more. I think we'll go with this color. Okay, and now we're definitely gonna give him glasses. So his glasses are just like, they're not really rounded. I think this will work. Oh no, like this, perfect. And uh, let's just change it to gray. So there we go, now his nose can stay the same and his, I think his mouth can stay the same as well. So go there. Now we just have to change his height to be a little taller, make him a little skinnier. Now favorite color we'll go with white. And now on to our next character. So now for our next character, who may be the final member of the Seven Deadly Sins, but not our final character for this video, is going to be Escanor. So for his face shaping, it can stay the same. So now for his hairstyle, I think we're going to go with, where is it? This hairstyle. Because I think this one works pretty well for him. And for his color, we're going to go... <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Probably gonna go like this color. Yeah, that works. So now for his eyebrows, they're thicker than everybody else's, but not too thick. I think this works, and then we can just go like that. And then we can rotate it, so it's like that. Now the color has to be the same, so like that. So now for his eyes, they're sorta, they're more on the skinny side, but not too skinny, so. Probably if we go like this and then rotate it and then bring him up just like that. Now his eyes are blue, but not too blue. Probably, but they're more of a greenish blue. So probably like this that works. Now a nose can say the same. Mouth. We'll see. For his facial hair, he definitely has a pretty nice looking mustache. So not that. Not that one. Not really this one. I think it would I think this one works the best. You have to make it the same color, of course. Just like that. And we can make it a little bit bigger. Like that size I think works well. Then for his mouth. So that it actually looks pretty good. We'll go like that. And if we move it up, that works perfect. So now for his body, he's definitely pretty tall. Like that. And then 
make him a little bit, f no, not really fat, but there you go. So for his favorite color, it is going to be yellow because that is closest to gold. No glasses, and his name is going to be Escanor. So now that we're done with Escanor, we are going to head on to our final character in this video. So for our final character for this video, we're going to be going with Elizabeth. So she's definitely female. And now for her face shape, it can stay the same. So now for her hairstyle. Her hairstyle is going to be pretty hard because she has one of her eyes covered up. And I don't think that's a hairstyle option here. The closest would probably be... This is probably the closest to getting an eye covered. Unless we move her eyes like way up, then her eye will not be covered. And her hair is more straight. Yeah, her hair is mostly straight, so not really that, not that either. Oh, this is going to be hard. No, not that, not that. I think we're just going to have to go with, 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 with whichever one looks the best in like the back. Not really have to, we probably should not try to actually get her eye covered. I think this one works pretty well, even though her eye is not covered. But So her hair color is kind of like a pale blue, but not too pale. And not really blue, though. But it's not really gray, either. So... I don't think there's going to be a good color here. I think we're just going to have to go with gray. See, yeah, there's really no hair color that works for her hair color. Guess we'll just go with gray because that's the closest one. So now her eyebrows are pretty thin. So the normal thin ones, then we rotate it like that. And then color gray. So now for her eyes, she has pretty big circular eyes. I think like this, but if we definitely we spread them out and we rotate them a little bit like that, and then we move it down one. I think that works. So we're just gonna go for the color of her like normal eye, which is like a greenish bluish, like this. Yeah, this works. So now her nose can stay the same, and now her mouth is going to be a smile. That looks kind of weird, Alex. No, I think this works. So now no mole body. She's a little tall and skinny. So now favorite color. This is going to be basically season one. Elizabeth, so we'll go with pink, because that's the color of the boar hat uniform, so... And then Elizabeth. So there we go. We finished up. Or that finishes up um, this video on the Seven Deadly Sins of Mies. And now I probably will be making a part two. And I'll also be making some more My Hero Academia Mies. Then after those. After. Yeah, after I finish My Hero. We'll probably move on to another Seven Deadly Sins. And then. Mon Punch Man, and probably Mob Psycho 100, and then I will do Psyche K as well, because I like the an anime and somebody else uh, requested for it. So yeah, in this video we got Meliodas, Bon, Diane, King, Merlin, Gother, Escanor, and Elizabeth. Let's just, you know, we're just going to move Elizabeth so that she's there. Um, we'll move Bon so that King. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now that we're done reorganizing them, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.